Ashley, it's a pleasure to be with you. Congratulations. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm really well, thank you. How are you? I'm really, really well. Congratulations. Of course, I'm congratulating you for a very specific reason. So I'm not going to steal your thunder. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you and what you do at Peer and why I'm congratulating you. Go on, over to you. Thank you. Um, so hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm Ashley. Um, I'm a pharmacy technician and I qualified in, in October, just gone. Um, so I've just completed a two year apprenticeship with Peerha, um, which I start. So I started my apprenticeship in November um, and I've just completed a two year course um, and I'm now a qualified pharmacy technician working for the PCM. Yay! Amazing. Now I'm Yay. really happy to ask. <laughs> What actually, because being a pharmacy technician is probably the biggest secret within primary care. Lots of people don't know about it. What plugged your interest in this area? Um, so when I left school, I did have an interest in pharmacy and I tried to apply for an apprenticeship in a pharmacy, but unfortunately I was unsuccessful. Um, but after a couple of years doing office work, not really fulfilling my life, um, I thought, I'm going to try pharmacy again so I applied um, in a community pharmacy I was successful um, and when I did my preparation for my interview I was having a look at what career progression there was because I knew that deep down I could get a career I wanted a career I wanted something to get my teeth stuck into um, so I had a look you did my healthcare assistant course become a dispenser the next step on from there would be a pharmacy technician and um it is a two-year apprenticeship um I wasn't interested in going to uni I looked into that wasn't for me um and yeah I um got my role in the community pharmacy and I did that for a year and a half um and the role for the PCN came up to do um a pharmacy technician apprenticeship across community pharmacy and in the GP practice. So I had a split post role, um, which I did for two and a half years in the end. Um, and yeah, it just kind of went from there. And now here I am, two years later. Yeah, you are indeed. And how did you find that split, actually? Because, you know, doing a bit of community um, pharmacy, a bit of general, how did you find the split? I think it was brilliant. Um, it was so, so good to get the mix because different pharmacy is so different in different areas. So you've got the hospital, you've got prisons, you've got community pharmacy, you've got GP practice. And I found community pharmacy, you're not as a pharmacy technician, you're not very clinical. You're more patient facing, answering queries, providing medicines, counselling. But in GP practice, you see all the behind the scenes you're looking at at blood results you're looking at uh, letters from the hospital and you're learning so much just from reading these letters and it's nothing you see you wouldn't ever see any of that in community pharmacy so it was really really beneficial for my learning and for my knowledge um and I I loved it I really really did um I don't know how other pharmacy technicians do it just in one place it was awesome to get the scope because uh, peer health also let me go out into um western hospital for a week um just to shadow the team there so i even got an idea into hospital pharmacy even though i've never worked there um so i've got to see it all so i really really enjoyed the split post priceless experience isn't it having that kind of hybrid and, and varied experience absolutely priceless mm. and of course we have a, a huge pharmacy team um within within peer and we have pharmacists, we have pharmacy techs, we have we have all sorts. So what what is the main difference between what you do and what a pharmacist pharmacists do? Although I appreciate that you guys are all um you all work together as a team. So try and maybe unpack it for us a little bit. Yeah, so pharmacy technicians and pharmacists in general practice, my point of view is that we all work on the same things, but there's more clinical knowledge that a pharmacist would have. So I don't know, for example, I've the other day, I was dealing with an email from Urology about prescribing some antibiotics. Nothing other than that. Just wanted UTI, um, urinary tract infection antibiotics. And I was like, okay, I can do all the research into that and find out what we would like to give and what guidance in the area suggests. But I don't feel comfortable as a pharmacy technician and saying, yes, we're going to do that. So I would then speak to a pharmacist and say, 
I think I want to do this. What do you think? And then a lot of the time we then go from there. So that's kind of gives you an idea of the difference between us as pharmacy technicians and pharmacists. Um, but we do very much work on the same sorts of things. Um, and then every pharmacy technician in the practice works alongside a pharmacist the majority of the time. Um, so we can then speak to them about any clinical things we don't feel comfortable about because everybody's got their own scope. Uh, but yeah, ultimately we all work together. To get awesome. Yeah. And, and what's next for you now, now that you, you kind of graduated into this, this um, nice, lovely role, what's, what's next for Ashley? What's Ashley... What have you got your eyes on now? So I've received my certificate from my apprenticeship and I've posted that off so I can get, um, I've applied for my GPHC registration. Um, so once I've got that and I've got my GPHC number, I will be applying for the CPP pathway um, for pharmacy professionals, which all of the team have either already done or are doing. Um, so that I think will be a 15 month course for me. Um, and it's all remote, all done online. Um, but yeah, that will be what we'll, I'll be starting in the new year. So some more studying. <laughs> more studying for you, more progress. We love that. And of course, you are our very first, the pioneer, the amazing, the number one, the uno um, of <laughs> our pharmacy technicians. And so if there's anybody out there in, in, in the organisation that's thinking, oh, maybe I'd like to get into this, what would you suggest they do? I would definitely say express your interest. Come and have a chat to us. We're all really friendly. Um, we're all a great team. We all work together. And um, if you want any advice or anything, I'm always here or, or 168. Um, but I do work for the PCN. So just get in touch, reach out. Um, I'm happy to give a run through of what I get up to. You can shadow us maybe. Um, but yeah, we're a great team to get involved with. Well, you heard it here first, Tim mm -hmm. There's only one out there that would like to understand what the pharmacy technician role is all about or even get involved. I think the funding and the um the pathways change ever so slightly. But speak to us and then we'll see what we can do. But actually, we are so proud to have you in the team. We're so excited that you've absolutely smashed it and are qualified now. And we wish you all the very best. Come and speak to us again um, in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. We've had lots of experience. Come and talk to us again and tell us how the learning journey um, um, has taken you. But is there anything, anybody else you want to shout out for anyone that you want to send your appreciation to whilst you're here? So a big shout out to the whole of the pharmacy team for supporting me over the last two years. Thank you. <laughs> You heard it here first, pharmacy team. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Ashley. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank Good you. And we'll see you again soon, yeah? Yeah.